What's happening, Horizon Middle School? Mr. Flood here, coming back with a little reminder message. Don't worry. I know. Five of you remember who I am. Maybe six. I was at your school a few weeks ago, and I wanted to come back for a couple of reasons. Number one, to say thank you uh, for having me out to Minnesota. I had a um, great time, and everybody treated me so kindly with dignity and respect. It's pretty daunting. It's very daunting to walk into. I walk into about 100 different schools every year where I don't know anyone. Uh, so you all treated me, you guys and girls, and, and of course the staff there treated me with dignity and respect, which I appreciate. It was the biggest middle school I've ever been in. It's like a small college. Uh, which was awesome. You've got a big school there, but with bigness, leaning into my second point, with bigness comes responsibility um, that no one get lost or left out or lonely. You know, it's okay for people to be alone, but as long as we're checking on them that they're okay and finding any place where we can include them in things that we're doing. So that was my long thank you. Uh, for the way that you treated me. And the second reason I'm coming back is to remind you of all the challenges that I gave you. Well, there were only three. Uh, you know, the challenges that I gave you when I was there. And number one was to look on the inside of people, uh, not judge them by the outside, look on the inside. No matter what they're doing, wearing, um, you know, no matter how they look, always try and look on the inside and, and realize that we're all alike. Um, at that point and in that place. And the second challenge was to reach out, show respect for, and say thank you to two adults in your building. Again, the fact that you have such a big building, um, you know, get to know as many adults as you can. I know you're only there for a few years and then you're off to the high school. But while you're there, you know, eighth graders still take time to do this if you haven't done this yet, but take the time to get to know a couple of adults so that you have a go-to person. And maybe this is even a person you can come back to when you get to the high school. You know, there's no reason you can't come back. Not a lot of kids do that, but you know, there's no reason you can't come back to visit your middle school when you get to high school. And, and seventh and eighth graders, again, because you have such a big school, look out for the fifth graders when they come in, you know, and even the sixth graders, uh, that they don't get lost. So, um, you know, stay connected to them. And the third uh, challenge that I gave you was that, again, in a big school, no one eats alone. And I guarantee you, I hope not since I've been there, but I guarantee you there are people eating alone and maybe you're just not aware because you're so, you know, focused on your group and, you know, take a minute to look around the, you know, the lunchroom and who's sitting where and who's eating alone or, you know, to eat with somebody new. Just look for those opportunities where you can include people. So again, I really, really appreciate my time there. I had an awesome time uh, at Horizon and I hope to come back uh, someday. It was tremendous. You have a tremendous staff there, the school administration who is taking great care of you guys and girls. And I will see you down the road. Have a great year.